What is going on YouTube? Level Zero Gaming here and today we are bringing you another video on Black Desert Online. This time going over a new player guide to contribution points. Now the contribution points are these numbers up here above your health bar to the far right. Now just like energy there are two numbers. The number to the right is your total account contribution and the number on the left is how much contribution points you currently have that you can use. Now the best way to get contribution points, there's actually two main ways. Uh, the first one, if you're a new player, I do strongly suggest going through the main story quest. You can follow those through your Black Spirit. You can go press O to bring up your quest journal and click on main, and you can follow all this. Most of these quests will give contribution points, like this one right here, CP, gives you experience, 60 contribution experience. Um, the other way is if you're more into life skilling, you can do cooking. Now, cooking, you will get a byproduct called Witch's Delicacy. And you can exchange every 10 of these for 900 contribution experience and some cooking experience. So, the way I do it, I do a little bit of both. I do some quests, and then I do a lot of cooking on my cook, and... When I get a couple hundred, I go and turn in those witch's delicacies and I get contribution points. Now, what do you spend contribution points on? Well, there's quite a few things. Um, you can invest in nodes, like let's take a look up here by Velia. Uh, let's look at Bartali Farm. So I've invested in Bartali Farm and I've invested in the chicken meat production and that requires contribution points. I've also invested in quite a few of these. So every node you click on, like let's look at this one that I have it. I can invest one contribution point and unlock this node. And then I, once I unlock this node, if it's got a gathering node attached to it, you can then also invest a contribution point and unlock that and then start sending workers to the node to collect resources for you. The other thing you can do is if you are wanting to get into farming, you can buy or rent Fences, and fences are what you use to farm. So they have a couple of different fences. Um, the strong fence are the 10 slot farms, and they require 10 CP per fence. So that's another way you can spend your CP. Now, another way is if you are wanting to, let's look at Calpheon. If you are wanting to invest into some buildings you can see here i have quite a few storage to increase my storage of this city and each building you rent will cost a contribution point or a couple contribution points depending on the building and where it's located so this one right here if we wanted to rent this one the merchant's lane 3-5 first floor to rent it as a storage or a crop factory or a residence is going to cost one contribution point. Now, if we were to take one of these grayed out houses, that just means that it's got more houses connect to it to unlock that. So it's going to cost a few more contribution points. So you can see this one to turn it into one of these facilities is going to cost three contribution points. And then once you unlock it, you can hit a level up button and it will take some silver and you can level up to like level two, three, four, and they go all the way up to level five. So if you're wanting more storage in your city, this is definitely the way to go. I would suggest whatever city you're kind of basing out of to kind of use that as your main hub. A lot of people use Heidel. Um, Heidel is a great all around area to base yourself out of because it's kind of the middle of everything. It's somewhat close to the Valencia areas. It's not too far from Calfion. Um, I kind of set up in Calfion because I do a lot of cooking and there is a seed vendor and fruit vendor here. So I don't have to run all over to pick up those materials when I am cooking. I also use some contribution to pick up a level three tool workshop, which allows me to craft some alchemy tools and cooking tools which I don't use the alchemy because I'm really not into alchemy but I, I do do a lot of cooking so I can gather some resources and I can send a worker to make my cooking utensils 
So <clears throat> those are pretty much the main reasons why contribution points are important and what you can use them on. Now, like I said, that number on the right is your total account contribution. It's This is where it's slightly different than energy. Once you invest your contribution, it does not regenerate over time. The only way to get those points you have spent back is to uninvest from the node or the building that you have purchased. So we will make another video in the future going more in depth on this and break it down a little bit more for you guys. But this is just a basic info on what contribution or CP is and how to use it, how to get it. Um, if you guys found this video helpful at all, smash that like button, hit the subscribe to see more content. We're going to be trying to put out at least one video a week, and we hope to see you guys next time. Peace.